Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jewip from Jewip Games, bringing you episode 2 of Path to a Pro Plus Reviewer, where I first review a game and then tell you about my late life in StarCraft 2, trying to become a pro. The game today is Tribes of Sin, but, but first, before I show you the gameplay, I just want to tell you some updates and stuff. As you probably noticed, I haven't uploaded these in about one month, and I was supposed to upload these once a week. Um, the reason for that was first, I was in Italy, then I was sick, and I also was a bit lazy sometimes. So, yeah, that's the reason why, um, so yeah, let's get into the game. First, before I show you the gameplay, I just want to show you the menus like the class system and stuff like that so first you know you have normal you can have friends I haven't even told you the name of the game haven't I well if I haven't it's tribes ascend and it's a beta right now so everything you see can be changed there was some <coughs> sorry there was a big update uh, pretty recently which changed the whole game basically or not the whole game but the menu and uh, the class system and yeah a lot of stuff but the friend system it's pretty weird actually you can just join your friends and that's all you can't even chat to them you have a profile I don't know oh here you can see me this isn't even like updated since or that like got updated today so I don't know uh, settings you can change graphics you know I have on medium just because I'm recording I can usually run it on high but yeah um, video you know resolution stuff like that gameplay this is really good you can change your FOV field of view which is how far you can see um, and a lot of people, I don't have this problem, but a lot of people get headaches if the FOV is really small, like on 60, it's basically looking through a box or something, and actually in Modern Warfare 3, you see in 65, and you can't change the FOV, which is really bad, but every PC game should have this, because if on a console game, you're sitting far away from the monitor, and yeah, it doesn't make you make you get headaches and stuff, but yeah, if you're sitting really close to your monitor, which you're doing when you play a PC game, um, yeah, this, it's really important, basically. So yeah, just stuff like that, audio, game, okay, well, yeah, you know, you can also change your region, region, I don't know, actually. But, yeah, and as I haven't said, also, this is a free-to-play game, um, but you can buy gold, which is basically like, um, I don't know, RP in League of Legends, um, and, yeah, you can basically buy classes for that. When you start the game, you have the Pathfinder, the Soldier, and the Juggernaut. One light class, one a medium class, and one heavy. There are nine classes, uh, three of which is light, three medium, and three heavy. Pathfinder, Sentinel, Infiltrator, Soldier, Technician, Raider, Juggernaut, Doombringer, and Brute. I will basically show you footage from Pathfinder, Raider, and Juggernaut today. Um, but first, uh, Pathfinder is my kind of main class, so as you see, it's 53% complete. You can buy classes with both experience points, which you get for playing, and these, which you buy, basically. Um, but Pathfinder, so you can ha you, there are basically two weapons on every class. You can buy, you start with one, and then you can buy the other one for both XP and gold, I think. But upgrades, uh, as you see here, uh, the upgrades, 
you can only buy with uh, experience points. You can only buy the upgrades with experience points. Sorry. So there's two um, secondary weapons too. I have the light assault rifle. It's really good. Um, then there's like grenades, um, packs which do different stuff like this one. The thrust pack gives you a gives a Pathfinder crazy acceleration using energy to launch the Pathfinder forward. There are two kinds. There are like this one, increases energy regeneration rate. That is a passive, just you don't have to activate it. But this one, you have to activate. You press C and you fly away. Um, then there's these armor upgrades. Can only be upgraded with experience points. Um, yeah. Then there's perks, which are really expensive, and um, I haven't bought any. But I'm saving for this one, I think. Um, yeah, two kind of perks. Then there's skins, but as I said, this is a beta, so they haven't really uh, added any skins yet. But yeah, so yeah, it's basically the same thing for all classes, but yeah. I'll show you more uh, in-depth of the classes I will be playing. Uh, right after the match with that class is starting. Um, so yeah, that is probably uh, it, guys, for showing the menu. See you in the gameplay part. Okay, so the class I will be using in this game is the Pathfinder, um, which is a really fast-paced class used for, you know, grabbing flags and stuff like that. Pathfinders have a amazing speed, making excellent flag cappers and chasers, chasers too. Um, so the weapon I'm using as my primary is the bolt launcher, which yeah, I'll read the description. While some would say it's not an as elegant as a disc, this bolt packs a strong punch. It deals more damage than the uh, light spin fuser, but it has. Uh, the the um, the bullet or the grenade or whatever um, descends a bit when you shoot it. Um, so yeah, it yeah you see here, whatever. Um, the secondary weapon I'm using is the light assault rifle. Um, you can zoom in; it's a bit like a sniper and shoots a. Th Three round burst. The LAR fires a three round burst, and the scope allows it to engage targets at a great, great distance. But it's not hit scam, which is like every weapon in uh, every other game. Like you shoot and hit directly. It it has the bullets take some time to hit. The belt item I'm using it's is the impact nitron, um, the one you start with. Um, impact nitron deals very little damage, but cause massive knockback and force enemies to drop the flag, which makes a really good chasing uh, grenade. If you chase the enemy flag carrier, um, you can throw this at them, and they just lose the flag instead of killing them to drop the flag. Um, the pack I'm using is the thrust pack. Um, the th thrust pack gives you a Pathfinder crazy acceleration using energy to launch the Pathfinder forward. So it uses energy, basically all of your energy, and the energy is also used for jetpacking. Um, and yeah, it gives you a thrust and you gain massive, massive amounts of speed. Um, then there's, yeah, I have nearly all the armor upgrades, except for the last one. I can't afford it, but I'm saving for the perks. And the perks, I just have the ones you start with. Plus 10 energy, and this one gives, increases mass by 40%, making it harder to be knocked back by flag blocking. So, yeah. No, sorry. I was reading something else super heavy. Oh, whatever. Determination. Gain an extra one plus 100 health on each respawn. If you get a kill or touch the flag, up to plus 300 health. Suicide negates this effect. 
excuse me. Um, so yeah, that's it guys, so let's go into the game. Okay, so here's the game. The game will be sped up at 150% speed. Um, 100 is normal, so yeah. Um, but yeah, this, the game is really fast-paced. Still, even though it looks faster now, but it's really, really fast-paced. And w even every time I will get like uh, get a kill, I will slow it down a bit just so you can see how the fights are. Um, and yeah, I will make it in 100 now slower speed uh, in some other times too. But yeah. Um, anyway, as you see in the bottom left corner. Uh, there's like two numbers, I would say. Um, one is the health, um, which you see, and the other one is the energy. Um, the energy is used for jetpacking. Um, jetpacking is just you fly up. Yeah, basically, you you can un you understand jetpacking is like it's jetpacking. Um, and health is health. Um, in this game, you have uh, a mechanic called skiing. When you hold down space, you basically ski. And skiing means that you have like anti f anti friction boots things um, when it's activated, and it makes you like slide really fast. But you can't do it upwards. Basically, like normal skiing in the world. Um, so you have to like um, if you play the iPhone slash iPad game. Um, tiny wings. It's basically this game is basically all tiny wings because you have to like jetpack when you're going up uh, the slopes, slides, slopes, yeah. And then when you're going downwards, you have to ski. Um, so yeah, that's yeah, that's that's everything. No, um, but yeah, then. On the gun, you can see the ammo f that you have left um, in a little number. Yeah, it's a good mechanic. But then, over the health and the energy, you see like a picture of a grenade and like the ammo of the grenade. Just basically, you understand. And then there's like the pack you have. Uh, some packs actually use something, and you can't you can only use it one time like the sentinel have a something they put down and stuff like that but in the top right corner you see credits which you earn uh, because of many different reasons like getting a kill taking the flag capturing the flag destroying a generator um, which I will talk about basically the basic game mode here is capture the flag um, you have to capture their flag and yeah both teams have pass a flag and um, you have to take the opponent's flag and then fly it into your base um, then there's like turrets that shoot at you there's sensor towers that makes them see you um, and stuff like that but then there's also a generator uh, in every team space and if you destroy the generator the turrets and the sensor tower and stuff like that stop working um, so that's really good destroying that and uh, different classes is made for like capturing the flag defending the generator defending the flag uh, destroying the opponent's generator and yeah stuff like that there's also uh, vehicles but they are only available in the capture the flag mode there are different like a, sh a shrike which is a like plane or no not plane yeah my un like flyer flighting flying fighter thing then there's a beowulf which is a tank and um, then there's like a bike I can't remember what it's called but yeah it's just a bike or not a bike, a like a motorcycle, um, which is, has faster speed than you, and it can shoot them. Yeah, they basically cost credits. And yeah, one last thing about the HUD or what it's called um, is things under the credits. It's basically call-ins. You can like shoot down uh, like a big 
like missiles on the ground. Um, but they also cost a lot of credits. Um, like call down airstrikes, I mean, sorry, not like missiles. My English is kind of bad, but yeah, as you see there, my gun was being used and it's yeah, really good. Okay, so let me talk about what I think about this game. Um, to be honest with you, I think it's probably the best FPS I ever played. And for you who don't know, FPS means first person shooter. It also means frames per second, but what I mean is a first person shooter. Um, because it's so fast paced, uh, like Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield, they are really slow. I, I mean, I like those, I play them a lot. Um, even today I play them Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty, I have. Yeah, they're great games too, but I, I really like this, like, it's so satisfied, satisfy, satisfying, sorry, um, just getting this momentum where you have this really high speed, um, yeah, it's really satisfying, and, um, yeah, it's just awesome. And if you haven't noticed, uh, basically no weapons. Some weapons are, but nearly no weapons are hit scam in this um, game. They basically, the bullets or grenades or missiles or uh, discs um, take a, a, a bit of time. Like, they don't have a really fast speed like bullets have. Um, so they you have to, like, shoot and predict where uh, your opponent's going to be and shoot in front of them or under them or yeah it's pretty cool um, yeah I'm trying to think of things bad about this game there are some balance issues I get I guess some classes are a bit overpowered but I mean as I said this is a beta and uh, you can't expect too much um, Look at what I'm writing now. It's pretty funny. Because there was five guys on me before. Wait. Wait. Heavy Nearby. Wait. You can see in the bottom left corner that I'm writing if you haven't noticed. No, I didn't. Pretending to be a lol community guy. OMG 501 so nope. Okay, yeah, whatever. If you didn't know the lol community is really bad mannered. Um <coughs> Well stop let's stop talking shit about uh, other games communities. Um just because I'm playing StarCraft, which is a really nice community game. Um but yeah. Um so basically, there are some like issues, there are some bugs. The game uh, crashes pretty often for me, I guess, but I don't know if that's... I don't know. It's not that big of a problem, it's not that many times, but... Yeah, you know, you can say a lot of things about uh, free-to-play games, like... That you have to like pay for some weapons, but I mean, they have to get. Oh god, I failed there. Did you see that? Oh, whatever. Um. Yeah, as I was saying, they have to earn money in some ways. Uh, oh yeah, this kill, these kills, I would nearly say, it's so epic. Look at that. Ah, oh, double kill. Killing the flag carrier and returning our flag. That was pretty epic. Pretty, pretty epic. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Free to play games. Like, you can't play this game, like, with not paying any money because there's mainly experience points and you have three classes to start with. And uh, the classes are pretty cheap. It's like the weapons and upgrades that are pretty expensive um, when we're talking experience points 
Um, experience points also uh, makes you level up, but the levels doesn't do anything, so I don't know what's that for. What that's for. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but actually, I think they do some stuff. Like, um, you can't play certain modes until you're uh, one different levels, but I haven't noticed that because I was that update which made you do that um, basically came long after I had level up like to enough high level to play everything uh, whatever um, so yeah there are other modes like team deathmatch um, ire arena which is 5 on 5 there's like rabbit or something but yeah I, I mainly play capture the flag it's the main mode um, um, so, yeah, the game is really awesome, but yeah, um, it's, it's actually a b open beta now, uh, so anyone can play it, I had it in the closed beta, but basically what you had to do was on like them on Facebook and you got a beta key, so it was basically open, but yeah, it's, you should really play this game, it's free, so it's really awesome. And I mean really awesome. I think I'm gonna put a link to the website for this game in the description, so you can go play it. Um, but yeah, I realize this video is really long, so I'm actually gonna start talking about StarCraft now and then in the next game I'm gonna talk about the game a bit and then about StarCraft and then the game after that a bit about the game and then a bit about StarCraft so yeah see you soon in the StarCraft part okay so here's where I talk about a bit of the StarCraft I don't have that much time left on this game or I have a bit but yeah so I'm gonna start to talk about the new maps um, and just some quick updates first. I'm still in gold, but top gold now. I'm winning a lot of games. Um, I'm gonna talk about my matchups matchups later, like CVT, CVP, CVT. Um, but yeah, uh, a new season has come, and there are new maps, new map pools. But I'm not gonna like. As I did last time, like put picture of the maps because it's basically the same maps. No Silnaga, no Arid Plateau, and I said I didn't like those maps a bit, but yeah. The new maps are Korhal Compound, which is a, a pretty small map. Um, there are just two spawn locations, so you know where your opponent spawns, and I like this map really much. And if we're talking design about the maps, I, I actually I think those maps, the the, the two new maps, uh, are actually community made. I think yeah, they are. Um, so that's really good that Blizzard listens to like the community, um, because yeah, they are community made. But anyway, the design of that this map, it's a really beautiful map. But yeah, that's basically not what I'm going to talk about. But yeah, it's 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 a really good map, I think. Um, yeah, I like it. Nothing more to say because I'm 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 stupid. No, but better map is Cloud Kingdom. Um, sounds like I'm something from Mario, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, it's also an even better map. It's it's a bit. Bigger, I think, than Coral Combined. Yeah, I think so. Um, but yeah, it's the same as Coral Compound. That there's like two, only two spawn locations, so you know where your uh, opponent is. But yeah, it's it's really good too. I think. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to say more about those maps, other than they're awesome. Really awesome. Really awesome. Look at this thing in the game now. It's pretty funny. Wait. 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 Uh, 
Just for fun, yeah. But anyway, as you can see, I'm having hard concentrating right now. But yeah, yeah, I like the new maps. So let's get on. There are a little, little bit left in this game, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, say stuff. No, I don't know. Um. Yeah, ZVZ. Uh, last time I said that my CVC uh, was my worst matchup. I think I did. Um, but yeah, it's been better, and I actually made uh, a new build. Uh, or I I always used like Muta Ling in ZVZ, but yeah, I started uh, using more like Infestors and Roaches, and I even made my own build where I went like Ultras. Um, Ultra Infester with like mass armor upgrade. Uh, yeah, it worked pretty well, and I have some replays of that that I might show sometime um, soon. But yeah, yesterday I actually played a game, um, and I had in that game uh, I had five over 500 APM in one second. But I I mean it's uh, then I had like 400 for a while. I'm 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 really pl proud of that case. I'm so awesome. I had 400 APM in three seconds. Oh yeah. No, just kidding. But yeah, I don't know what I s why I said that, but just some fun. Um. So yeah, I have that new wheel CBZ. Pretty easy for me now. Um. But yeah, you know, your matchup. Matchups always like gets, gets different, but yeah. So basically, the game is done. So see you when I talk about the next one. Okay, so in this game, I'm going to use the class um, called the Raider. Um, the Raider is a durable attacking class with weapons that can wreak havoc on the fences and packs that offer extra protection. Um, so yeah, it's a medium class. Um, it's really good against armored units, like heavy units. Um, and you, you basically use it to um, a lot like killing the opponent's generator. Um, and stuff like that just it's not a flag capture it's more like a mid midfield guy but yeah still like really attacking guy it's not like uh, I don't know actually um, it's not a flag capper and not really a like def cap flag defender but yeah I'm using the grenade launcher which I bought you start with this one um, choose it has clip size of for you. I can read. The grenades from this launcher explode on contact with enemies, and its expanded clip and radius give it more flexibility than the arc cluster. Um, so yeah, it, that pr pretty much explained it. I haven't upgraded it because this is not really my main class, but I have bought some stuff. Um, so yeah, it, yeah, I like this gun. And it's also really cool. As my secondary weapon, I use this one because that's the only one you can use. Um, it's basically just an automatic rifle, and this one is this weapon is actually hit scam, which means that where you hold your cursor, where you no, where you're aiming at when you shoot is where you hit, basically. Um, wait, that's like. Uh, whatever. Uh, it hit, it hit, it hits right when you press the um, when you press the sh button to shoot. Um, then it it has uh, an EMP grenade. EMP grenades cause damage and energy drain to those caught in the blast. Um, wait, no, the pack. I haven't looked at the other one. I think yeah, but. When a shield pack is activated, damage is applied to your energy pool rather than your health. So this one is also when you activate. 
not a passive one. Um, then armor upgrades, I haven't upgraded anything, and the perks are the same as before because I haven't bought any. Um, so yeah, um, it's a pretty awesome class. Let's get... Ooh, no. So let's get back to the game, or into the game. Okay, so yeah, let's see some Raider in action. Um, I'm not really good with this class, or I'm actually pretty awful at this game overall, but yeah. Um, basically, later I will actually use the Raider, which is use, which you should use it for, like, going into the generator room. But in the beginning, I'm just, like, in the midfield and just killing people and failing hard because... This guy is not really good, like, in open field like this, or it's kind of a... You have to be pretty good, like, hitting with the grenade launcher. And I got hit by a sniper. <laughs> or a sentinel, but... Yeah, um... So, yeah. If you haven't realized, the... The sounds and everything is sped up, so... Or unpitched, so everyone sounds like chipmunks. From, like... I don't know. Um... That's because when you speed up the video, the audio speeds up, and then, yeah, everything gets pitched. That's, like, I can't do anything about that, because if I would, like, the uh, audio and video get, would get really unsynced. But, yeah, I guess you realize that, because if you didn't, you're kind of stupid. Um, and, yeah, the quality isn't really good, and it won't be in HD, this video, because I kind of failed recording but yeah um you still see what's happening and stuff like that um so yeah let's get back to the game um yeah i'm just failing as you see i'm like writing that i'm stupid and stuff but i should get into the generator room soon um which will mean that i play a bit better this game is much shorter than the last one the last one was really really long i think it's was like about 20 minutes long or no maybe even longer 30 minutes I don't know how long the timer is no 30 minutes I think um but uh, as you know I sped it up so yeah here I actually get a kill on the flag the guy that has the flag um and yeah mechanic I didn't tell you about is that if one team has the uh, uh, the the opponent's flag, um, they can't capture the flag, and same, so if both teams has the flag, they have to kill the flag capturer of the other team, um, to capture their flag, or, yeah, um, which is really good, because that, like, makes the games longer and more interesting. Mm. So, yeah, now, oh, did you see that? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Um, the pros of this game, like, can shoot, like, people in the air. Not that there are many pros, but, yeah, like, hit them in the, when they're in the air. So you can, like, with, like, the spin fuser, which I haven't showed, but, yeah, that's, like, the main weapon of this game. Um, many classes has the spin fuser. Um, and if you hit someone in the air, you get, like, blue spate, blue plate special, and, uh, yeah, it's really hard, since the, uh, bullets are so slow, or the discs, or the grenades, or whatever. <coughs> um, but yeah, I, I actually think I'm getting into the, re uh, generation, generation, generator room now, or, uh, I hadn't played this map before. So, I actually, because this is a fairly new map, so I actually didn't know the, um, the, the, the place where you go in. So I just found this, like, small room that it's, like, nothing, but, yeah. So, come on. Yeah, whatever, I find it, like, now. Um... It's kind of weird because these maps look like they're like really old buildings, but it's like in the future and they look kind of future ish, but still kind of oldish. 
Yeah, I was just say I'm in the ge generation generator room. God, I'm stupid. Um, but yeah, so we're basically a team in here. But the generator is already destroyed, so just like we're just standing and defending the generator. I wouldn't really say, but defending it from getting repaired, which just which just sounds stupid. But yeah, technician comes down here trying to kill us, but. And right when I look up there, he jumps down, but yeah, we're like two on one, so we kill him or he kills him. Um, so yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say about the game. Um, here's this juggernaut guy or brute or doomringer, I don't know. I kill him through the through a wall, it looks like, but. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah. This one thing about the, these um, episodes that I really haven't said, that is that the games doesn't have to be new. Like, they have now, but I can't, because I don't have all the money in the world. I can't buy every new game, and I have many games that I haven't played that much, and once to like make these reviews reviews on and all the games I have are not new or yeah like new released new re newly released games so I'll probably upload like a video so like where I show uh, review like games that came out a year ago or more or less I don't know. But yeah, now I come into the genera generator room and actually destroy the generator, but there are like four or five guys in here. Or maybe three, I don't know. Um, but, so I get like pretty crushed actually. I, I should be get killed now. But, yeah. But I, I guess... Oh, this game is nearly done now, so I won't talk about StarCraft now. In the next game, I will. Um, um, but yeah, I'm tr I'm trying to get stuff to say about, but I'm, you know, I'm really bad at like commentating. I'm trying to get better, but I'm sorry if this is boring. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying my best. Um, but yeah. I just like this game so much that there's not like not much to say. Um, uh, you know, I'm really thinking of stuff that could be like. Be like no, I don't know. And it's even more hard because it's a beta, and I'm stupid and killing myself, so I'm writing Facebook in the chat. And no one understands what I mean because, yeah. Okay, so now the game's done. So, see you in the next game. Okay, so finally we're down to the last game. The heavy class, the juggernaut, which is the heavy class you start with. I haven't upgraded this class anything or bought anything new because I have I haven't played the juggernaut before I just did it for you guys and I realized that it's really fun and I this is probably the best game I played uh, I was going to say in this video but actually nearly ever because I played really good with this guy um, but yeah, Juggernauts excel at long range bombardment and devastate the exterior of enemy bases with their mortars. Basically, what I did in the game, or which I'm going to do, um, is that I'm just defending the flag because these guys are really slow. But he can be used for like destroying generators and being more of a attacker. But I'm playing more defensively because I'm not, I haven't played heavy classes so much. So yeah, the the first weapon is the fusion mortar. Mortar. This is the one you start with. 
Perhaps the most destructive handheld weapon in the Wilder Zone, the fusion mortar can turn almost any defense into instant rumble. Um, it has a really slow fire rate, but the damage and the radius is just huge. I don't know what this does. Looks like the same thing, but... I don't know. Um, the secondary weapon is a spin fuser MKD. I don't know. The spin fuser MKD has been modified for a large radius. Yeah, it's, so this is the first game where I actually show the spin fuser. Um, because nearly every class has a spin fuser of some sort. Um, I can actually show you. But yeah, it, it shoots a disc and... Um, it doesn't like the send or anything, it just shoots and then has some splash damage. And this one seems to have a larger radius um, because it's modified like here. And um, this seems, I don't know, whatever. This one is the one I have. Um, and then a belt weapon is a, he a heavy AP grenade. AP grenades deal massive damage to humans but are very poor against armored targets such as base turrets, generators, and vehicles. Well, this one is so awesome. You can throw spin fuser discs. But yeah, this one is the one I have. Um, and then the pack is a health regen pack. Reduces the delay until health regen starts when out of combat. And the perks is the same as normal because I don't have any other perks. So yeah. Um, see you in the game. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot. I was going to show you all the spin fusers. Uh, spin fusers. Primary weapon, light spin fuser on the Pathfinder. But I used this one. But yeah. There's one spin fuser. No. Um, Sentinel doesn't have one. Um, infiltrator, primary weapon, stealth spin fuser. This one looks most awesome. But yeah, um, soldier, primary weapon, spin fuser, just a normal one. Um, technician doesn't have one, I think. Nah. Um, the raider doesn't have one. Juggernaut, yeah, you just saw it. Doombringer, heavy bolt launcher. Oh, it's the same as the Pathfinder has, but a heavy one. Um, Brute has, has one, I think. Uh, primary, yeah, heavy f spin fuser. But yeah, so, see you in the game. Okay, so let's see the Juggernaut in action now. Um, I'm not actually gonna talk so much about this game because I need my time for StarCraft stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a lot of kills, playing really def defensively, and, um... Yeah, even get a blue plate special in this game. Um, so, a lot of kills means a lot of editing for me, but, well, yeah. So, let's get to the StarCraft part now, again. Okay, so now it's the last part um, with StarCraft. So, I ended with CVZ. Um, yeah, it's getting much better. Um, but... In the last video, I think I said that CVP was my best matchup, or maybe CVT, but now CVP actually is my worst matchup. It's, I don't know, I'm dying to a lot of timing attacks, and I'm really, s <laughs> I, I, there was one day I only met Protoss, and I actually raged and, like, thought that Protoss was online. OP, because, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I thought Colossi and Sellots, both of those are like, I don't know, I, I, I mean, I would take a Colossi over a Siege Tank, to be honest, because they are so good, and like, even though I have a huge Roach Hider army, like, there's nothing I can do to stop them, or, there is, but, Our generator's back online. yeah, I, I just have to train and get better, um, but yeah, it's mostly timing pushes from the protests that I die to, and basically, 
I'm I'm not attacking because if I attack before they get Colossi or a robotics bay or no robotics facility, so they don't have any immortals. Um, I I think I could kill them, but yeah. I also do die to a lot of cannon rushes when I like 14 hatch, 14 pull because they 40 fast expand and have a fetch, fast forge, and they just kill my um get my expansion with cannons and yeah I don't like that but yeah um I also died like four gates timing pushes but yeah um so yeah that's it about CVP CVT still it's probably by my best well my best matchup right now because yeah I like always win um I was always use Mutal Ling basically and uh, Bane Links also of course and like yeah like if you have like a ton of Mutas they're just like yeah it's it's fairly easy to win um, I guess mech it's kinda hard um, actually but if they don't have that many Thors, it's just really easy to kill the Hel Helians and Seize Tanks. Because, yeah, they can shoot up, so, yeah. And Thors are really easy to kill with Links. And if you, like, magic box the Thor, they're pretty easy to kill, too, with the Mutas. Um, but, yeah. Um, See, so yeah, it's, it's fairly easy, actually. Um, then, then I don't know, MLG is going on right now, uh, Major League Gaming Columbus 2012, um, you should really go watch that, I'll put a link in the description, um, but that is if you watch this right after it gets uploaded, because, yeah, if you watch this one week from now, well, MLG isn't going on because it's just in three days. Um, yeah, I really like watching those events, but as you know, I live in Sweden, which is in Europe, so it, it's really late because in America it's like 5 in the evening or 5 p.m., but here it's like 10 p.m. it starts and then it ends like really late and well, I don't know. I, I fell asleep yesterday just watching MLG because, yeah, I was really tired and stuff. But, yeah, I'm glad I'm finally finished with this video, or I'm not, but nearly because I've actually been working on this video for like about five hours now because I went, I had to like fix stuff for the recording and then uh it's like like um like looking through everything to find all the kills to like slow down the clips and then also like recording everything yeah it takes time that's why a lot of people don't understand how lo how long it takes to make to make like gaming videos because it really takes a long time and after this I have to render it and upload it which also takes a lot of lot of time um, but this game now it's about it's soon done but yeah I don't know if I maybe I might like just let you finish watching the game with no commentary but I don't know but there's probably much more to talk about StarCraft, but I can't like... Hmm. I think I'm going to move up to Platinum soon because I've been meeting a lot of Platinum players um, in my league now because I'm in top gold and I'm basically winning against most of them so I should move up soon which will be nice um, and... Um, yeah, a big shout out to my friend uh, Grim, um, who uh, who has a channel too. Um, 
he before had a channel called Grim TV, but now he has a new one actually, and and I forgot its name, so I'm going to go check. Um, sorry, resec. Resec. Wait. Yeah, it's Typo Gamers. Uh, T Y P O G A M E R S. But I'll put a link in the description. He had a channel, but he switched to a new one because he didn't think his he had enough quality, um, and he wanted to like um, have a channel with a friend. I think so. Yeah, he makes like Minecraft and Starcraft, and I'm. And I made a video with him too. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to say that, but yeah, I did. <laughs> so yeah, uh, a channel with me and him will be going up a StarCraft video on his channel sometime. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And I will also put a link to my friend, um, I don't know, like half a year ago or even more. I made videos with a guy called like Toxic. And he has his own channel, and he had for a while called Ice Magmire. Um, so I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And you should really support these two guys because they're awesome, and they're making a lot more content content than I do. So um, yeah, you should really help them out. Um, yeah, this game is soon done, um, so I I'll let you watch if you want but yeah so thank you guys for watching subscribe like comment leave feedback if 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 it really helps if you like leave feedback and say stuff that I should could have done better but like I don't want any hate comments like you can say if there's something you think is bad like but not like uh, you fucking suck you fucking bitch like if there's something you think it's bad say what you think I could improve in or stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite if you want. But yeah. Um, so GG, peace out, well played. Um, good luck, have fun, I guess. See you!